Hello YouTube, I'm back with another video and I'm here to show you about my apartment spin dryer. Um, I had it for a pretty long time so you might not see what, um, what each um, knob on here is saying but I do I know because I purchased it but anyway I just want to show you guys how this um, spin dryer uh, works. Okay, first this is the um, wash uh, cycle, and um, it has many cycles on it. Uh, the first cycle is called uh, fast, medium, um, and slow. And then the second button is um, basically when you drain the water out, and it's got to dry. Uh, first of all, you got to... Uh, this is drain on this side, and this is a deeper drain right here as well. And then on this side right here, um, it's the spin dryer, which it comes with this, and an extension cord that goes where you add water to it, and then you put the dry clothes inside of this right here. But I'm going to demonstrate um, and show you how this convenient apartment dryer does wonders because it's basically for, for me, I consider it say if you got um, little ki uh, little kids, probably like one kid living in an apartment because basically you can't do that um, if you got a lot of kids because it just to be too much. But this is very convenient for a person that going off to college and they don't have enough money. Uh, you can purchase one of these on Amazon. I think I got this for uh, 100 and I think it was 5 with the taxes. It was regular like 89 So I, I, it's very convenient. But anyway, I'm going to uh, hand the camera to my daughter so she can uh, hold this camera so I can start this machine and show you how it works. Okay, she's going to pour the water in, and we use a bucket to do this. Okay, and you can just use any uh, laundry detergent right now. I'm just using a sample of Ariel. You can use any liquid, but I'm going to use the powder of Ariel because this is what I have at the time. But I usually use um, a different kind of soap, but today that's what I have. So I'm going to press this um, button right here, and I'm going to put it on. I already know the cycles. Like I said, um, this is a, a very, uh, I already had this washing machine, so the stuff right here came off uh, because of the water right here. But this cycle right here will just make the spin uh, of the wash begin. So I turn it all the way like that. And then you can hear it. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to start. But in order for it to start, I forgot. I have to put the drain back up so it can't drain out. So there we go. And you guys see that? And so now... I'm going to drop a shirt inside just so you can see how it washes. Your own mini wash machine. I'm telling you, this is good. Some medical person. It's on Amazon.com. And uh, this is a good thing. I mean, ever since I had that, I, I mean, it don't take a lot for this. It could, This machine alone can hold up to 13 pounds, really. But... I do it the way I, you can do it any way you want to. I put a lot of clothes sometimes, but probably like five or six shirts. I don't know, depending on how thin they are. Socks, whatever the case may be. Yeah, so this is a real good thing. And you could close this as well. And then so after 
I'm just showing you I like fast forward and everything because this spin this spin dryer it will take a long time now you see how soapy it is it works and I'll tell you it works but you can't overstep the uh, the clothes but it has a uh, what is it called a drainage which is this on the side it's a drainage cord and I put this little bucket because I don't even use this but I just to demonstrate this I I um, use this to drain the water out that's if it's on drain but I'm going to show you how to spin dryer work okay I'm going to take these I'm going to stop this and I'm going to take it out so you can see how the spin dryer work as well Okay, I have to stop the camera and restart it over, but anyway, I'm back. Okay, so there, uh, what I was saying before that, um, I'm going to just uh, grab the shirt up out of here because usually I'll just let the water drain out, but I'm not going to show the drainage. But anyway, I'm going to grab the shirt and I'm going to put it in the spin dryer. Usually, um, what I'll do, all this soapy stuff, it will be not in there and then you can add your own downy because you got to refill it once again. But I'm going to show you how this spin dryer work. And like I said, it's very convenient for an a 18 year old or, or, you know, just a regular uh, person to live by themselves. If you don't want to uh, buy the bigger big dryers. But most people, they be like, I want to hurry up and get this done. But anyway, so I'm going to close that. And then I'm going to, oh, I forgot to add this. This goes to stop the close. It, it might work and it might not because... On this type of uh, clothing, um, it's supposed to be like a little heavy. It might spin just automatically, but sometimes I have problems with it as far as um, it's only one thing. So it might just start click, 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 clacking like that. And this um, uh, washer, uh, spin dryer, you have to have it stable, like where it can't rock, shake, or stuff like that, or you have a problem. And the spin dryer sometimes get off rockers because you put too much, and sometimes I do that because I'll be going to hurry up. But that's got to be secured on there and lock, clap down. Then you can close this, and then you do that. And then you... Okay. Hold it. I got to have my daughter. I'll, I'll grab this. Okay, I put the shirt aside there. Now I got to put this in there because this is a protector so it won't go crazy. And so I'm going to push that down on there. And then I'm going to close the little latch. And then I'm going to shut it. Close it right here. And then I'm going to turn the knob. And then I'm going to show you basically how... Now, this can work two ways. Okay. This can halfway dry your clothes to hang and dry the clothes. Or... It can dry all the way if you leave it in a number, uh, like a long time. But me, when I have multiple clothes, I'll be like, uh, basically, um, I'll take like the clothes out. Like, it, it just, I'm gonna show you how to dry it. But you can, it can actually dry your clothes. And I'm not gonna like keep it in that long because I be having like a whole basket to do. You know what I'm saying? Because you be on, you be rushing and you be trying to like, I gotta hurry up. But anyways, um, when this get through. A little bit, I'm gonna show you that all the water, the little soap stuff that I had, is not over there anymore. And this also, like this, this um, water uh, extension, some people like to put the downy, like while spinning, and a little bit of water, you can hook it up to a sink, or I really don't know how what you hook it up far as um, how your living space is, but. I can either hook it up to a uh, water hose outside or the um, bathtub water. It, it just depends. It comes with a little stopper thing that will hook on your kitchen sink. So, yeah, that this is so convenient. I mean, I just love this machine. And sometimes, like what I do sometimes, like, you can tell if clothes are dirty. And some of the clothes, they, um, 
I said you got to straight. Sometimes I don't just drain the water because that's good soap. You know what I'm saying? Like you use that about uh, probably about one time. Depends on how much you show up. Now you think you're going to just drain this out after you put a gang of soap like this in? <laughs> Not me. Because <laughs> I'll be like, okay, I'm going to put that other shirt in there. And then, because that's a lot of soap, it's still like, soap is not dirty or nothing. Most people be filthy, and I say filthy. I say if you got a husband that's basically uh, working in the oil or something like that, and or you got a lot of dirt, nah, you might want to drain that water. But if it's like a normal shirt, blouse, or whatever, like, it ain't even that dirty, just brand new. So you can use the water like once or twice, but really, actually, if you feel like, oh no, because most people have COD, which I'm not trying to like, Get on the COD, so don't come for me. But I'm just saying, um, they would bring it out for me. Um, I mean, obviously, I would say that's too much soap right there. I'm about to add some more clothes to that. But anyway, okay, so now I'm going to take off the shirt and I'm going to turn this off because it should be halfway dry. see like you will you'll see water is no water and this is how it, it comes out turns out it's like it's just halfway dry but um the color just kind of messed up because of my camera but um that show you how it get uh halfway dry and you can just air dry it on the hanger whatever you have like most people buy those um uh, where you hang up the clothes, like, uh, it's underneath is a hamper. So, yeah, um, like I said, this is very convenient, uh, for someone that live in an apartment, you can't afford it, because, you know, the times right now is so, uh, heavy right now, as far as money and stuff, uh, and you gotta excuse the kids in the background, they're, they're just <laughs> rude, nah, <laughs> but they're arguing, but anyway, so I put something else up in here, and, um, just show you once again on how this works. Let me start it. And yeah, it's just it's cool. It's like so I'll put another O'Brien back in here. Um, I was told earlier that uh a neighbor had purchased one of these and she did not use it. I don't know what happened to her instruction instructions but I'm going to show her how to drain it because she does not know so if anybody don't know how to drain it and don't know how to use these hey here you go right here so anyway so I'm just going to let this water out because girl you know this is fresh water y'all and so <laughs> okay but I'm going to show it so anyway um you just take the drainage right here and then I'm using a little at the time because I'm trying to show you guys and then it, the water comes out like that so And look how filthy the water is. And that was a dark shirt because it's like, it's a color fade shirt. So it might come out like that too. So it's draining like that. Okay, now I have to stop the camera again because this is how full it is. Now this water right here, I have to pick it up. Okay, and this is a little latch on the side. Right there. And then this is what it looked like, but you still have to drain the water out because uh, it's a lot of water. And then basically what you do when this water get out, you can either put fresh water in it again to refill it. Like because I use a bucket, and so that will rinse the clothes off. Now this is a darker shirt. The reason why the water was um, dark because these shirts bleed, and that I that is not a dirty shirt like that. But anyway. Um, so this is how, uh, the drainage work, and what else, let's see, um, uh, I guess that's, uh, you know, basically, but when you add the water after this go out, all you do is add, uh, I use, like, this type of stuff, swivel, because it smells good, and that's, that, I like stuff like that on my clothes, because you gotta be fresh, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> But anyway, um, yeah, so like I said, this is very convenient for someone going to college. If you got, you, you, 
guys got kids out there going to college or whatever. Oh, yeah, you would love this or they would. But I'm about to give me another one because I need two. Um, but, yeah. This is, uh, now we come to the end of this video. And I thank you guys for tuning in. And always remember to like, subscribe, and share. Okay, God bless you guys. Remember to love, laugh, um, and thank you for watching. Goodbye. And sorry for the popping because I was eating something. All right, thank you. Bye. <laughs>